All right. Hi, guys. Just wanted to go over the <clears throat> kinematic curves worksheet so that you can check your answers to that. So in case you had any questions about why they are the way they are, uh, you'll be able to see that. So let's take a look at this first one. So you're right. You're looking at the slope of this graph. The slope of this graph is positive and constant. So that tells us that our velocity is positive. So it's going to be up here, constant. So it's going to look like that. The acceleration graph is going, right, the slope of this graph is zero, so the acceleration is zero. And that makes sense because, the right, this shows us moving at a constant speed, so that, of course, means we're not speeding up or slowing down. The slope of this line is negative and constant, so that means our velocity is negative and constant. Since our, right, the slope of this, the velocity graph is, uh, is constant, that tells us our acceleration is constant sense because we're moving at a constant speed. For these curved ones, you have to break it into pieces. So you're going to have, right, the very beginning is very flat. So that tells me my velocity is zero. It then gets steeper and more positive. So that means I'm going to end up with a velocity, a velocity up here. So, right, my velocity graph is going to look like that. Remember, your velocity graphs are always straight lines, right? So they're either linear or horizontal. So uh, because, right, this is steep and positive. Slope of this velocity graph right here is positive and constant, so that's going to be a positive and constant acceleration because we are, are speeding up con right in the positive direction. The next one starts out with an ex right a very flat uh, graph, so that tells us that our velocity is going to start at zero again, but it ends negative and right very steep negative, so that's going to end up down here. So that's going to oh, like better than that. Um, it's going to end up with a linear line that looks like that. The slope of this line is negative and constant, so the oh, but so the acceleration would be negative and constant. This line, right, number five, starts out steep and positive. So that's going to start out with a fast positive velocity. And it's going to end flat, which tells us that our, our velocity ends with a velocity of zero. So that's going to be uh, a graph that looks like that. Slope of this velocity graph is negative and constant. So that tells me my acceleration is negative and constant. That's because I'm traveling in the positive direction, but slowing down, right? The slope is positive, meaning I'm going in the positive direction, but because I'm slowing down, my acceleration is opposite of that. It's in the negative direction. So, all right, number six, uh, we start out not moving at all. So that means our velocity is zero because slope of this line is zero. Slope of this line is zero as well. So acceleration is zero. So the second part of it starts out flat, gets steep. So it starts out with a velocity of zero, speeds up in the positive direction. Slope of the velocity graph here is positive and constant. So that's an acceleration that is positive and constant. Number seven starts out flat and then gets steeper in the positive direction. So that's going to look like this. Uh, and then it's just going to hold that velocity, right? Whatever the slope is right before the dotted line, it just keeps that slope. So whatever the velocity is right before that line, it just keeps that velocity. Uh, slope of the beginning part of number set, right? The slope of this velocity graph right here is positive and constant, so that's going to be a positive and constant um, acceleration. Slope of the second part is zero, so acceleration is zero. Number eight, uh, the beginning part has a, right, its slope is positive and constant, so that's going to be a positive constant velocity. And then, right, it takes whatever that velocity is. It's going to end up at zero, so then it's going to slow down to zero. Uh, the slope of the first part of the velocity graph is uh, zero, so acceleration is zero because we're moving at a constant speed. Slope of the velocity graph here is negative and constant, so negative and constant. Number nine, first part is negative and constant slope here, so negative and constant acceleration. It then gets steeper, more negative, right? So that means my velocity goes faster, but negative. So slope of the first part is zero. So acceleration is zero. Slope of the second part is negative and constant, so negative and constant acceleration. 
Starts out flat and then gets steeper for number 10. So it starts out with a zero velocity and then speeds up. Then it flattens back out to zero again. So it's going to look like that. Slope of the first half of the velocity graph is positive and constant. Slope of the second half of the velocity graph is negative. So negative. Moving along. Now we're going to try to work backwards. Okay, so this we got to think about this a little bit differently. Um, this is telling me that the slope of the x graph of the position graph is going. The slope is going to be positive and constant, right? I have a positive constant velocity, right? Because positive because it's up above the axis, constant because it's not changing, and so that tells me that the slope is positive, so sloping upward, and constant meaning linear. I can start my graph anywhere I want. So I could start it there. That makes the most sense. But I also could have drawn something like that. That would have been just as fine. So you, you actually you don't know where it starts. You get to kind of choose. So for those of you in calculus, it's the plus C of an integral. But for those of you not in calculus, uh, you can start it wherever you want. Uh, slope of the velocity graph is 0. So <coughs> acceleration graph is 0. For this one, it tell, right, my velocity starts at zero. So that means it's going to start really flat, and then it's going to get steeper in the positive direction. So it's going to start really flat, and then it's going to get steeper. So you're going to end up with a parabola. Slope of this velocity graph is positive and constant. So acceleration graph is going to look like that. My velocity starts at zero again, so it's going to start flat, and it's, then it's going to slope downward and get steeper. So that's going to look like something like that. Maybe that's better. Um, slope of this velocity graph is negative and constant, so negative and constant acceleration. Next, this velocity graph starts positive, so it's going to start steep. And then the velocity decreases to zero, so it's going to flatten out. So it's going to start steep, positive, and then flatten out. So that's going to look like this. There we go, something like that. And then the slope of this velocity graph is negative and constant, so that's going to give me negative and constant acceleration graph. Okay, moving along. Basically the same idea, just the slope of the first part of this velocity graph, oh, sorry, it starts out with a velocity of zero, so that means it's going to start out flat and then get steeper, and then it's just going to hold that steepness. So it's going to look something like that, and then it's just going to hold that steepness. So whatever the slope is here, it's going to then turn into a linear line and hold that. So, um, right, so it shouldn't be any sharp edge there. Slope of this velocity graph is positive and constant, so positive and constant. Slope of the second half is zero, so there you go. Uh, looking at this part, the slope, right, this is telling me that I have a constant negative slope, constant negative right here, because it's a constant negative velocity. So that means this graph, the position graph, is going to be sloping downward, and it's going to be linear, and then it's going to flatten out. So it's Right, that's constant negative, and then it's going to flatten out. So something like that. The slope of the first part of the velocity graph is zero, so acceleration is zero. Slope of the um, second part of the velocity graph is positive because it's sloping upwards, and so it's going to give me a positive acceleration. Again, here's another instance where, right, we're traveling in the negative direction, but we're slowing down. So that's why I have a positive acceleration because I'm right, my, I'm slowing down. So I'm, my acceleration has to be in the opposite direction that I'm I'm going. Right, so I'm going in the negative direction. I'm going to the left, but I'm slowing down, and so my acceleration is positive to counteract that negative um, acceleration velocity. Okay, uh, looking at this, I have a fast positive velocity that's going to turn into so that's going to be steep positive graph. And then it's going to turn into flat, right? Because my velocity turns to zero. So that's steep positive turning into flat. And then it's going to become steep negative. So that's going to be an upside down parabola. 
Interestingly enough, right, the slope of this line is constant and negative the entire time. So I have a constant acceleration the entire time. So whatever is causing this acceleration, it's doing the same, same, pulling in the same direction the entire time. Looking at the next one, kind of same idea. I start out with a steep negative, then it's going to flatten out, and then it's going to become steep positive. So steep negative, flatten out, steep positive. So. Again, you get to start your graph anywhere you want. That's why, like here, I stopped, started at the bottom, started at the top, so on and so forth. Lastly, uh, right, the slope of this graph right here is positive and constant because it's sloping upward the entire time with the same slope. And so your acceleration graph is going to look like this. Hopefully you find this helpful in case you had any questions on that. So thank you for watching and see you later.